we have a new balance patch on our hands. So let's just go through it and rate it 1 to 10. They called it Scorching Waves. Apparently they're giving balance patches names now. I mean, sure, why not? I guess, you know, if it's good, then I guess I'm up for them calling them different names now. So we have Pika Party Quick Bet. It's also coming back. Of course, we don't care about this. We care about these things right here. We have a Trevenant getting a nerf. Fully deserved, of course, right? Trevenant currently just absolutely on a rampage with every single bit it has. Woodhammer is getting an 18% damage decrease and also a cooldown nerf again. 3.5 seconds. And then Curse is also getting a 25 to 18% decrease level 5 to level 15. Those are pretty heavy nerfs. And all I'm going to say, yes, please. Like, it's... Oh, man, I, I can't play against Trevenant anymore. It is such a pain, literally, to be up against. Hooper next. They're actually nerfing Hooper. Wow, they're nerfing Trick. Its high use rage in tournaments was due to effective use of Trick and Phantom Force to enhance the ability's mobility to bright healing at the same time. I think that was only even Japan, right? I think the rest of the world didn't even play it. That's crazy. They nerfed Trick healing by 50% and Trick plus healing by 60. Okay, I don't know what this even is. Like, this, this is one of the most random things I have ever seen. In my solo queue games, I swear no one even plays Trick either. Leafeon, or Leafeon getting some nerfs would be nice, so we have move speed decrease on its passive by 5%, uh, sure. Solar Blade also getting a 13-9% to 9 damage nerf, which I think is quite fair. Um, even though I feel like, that doesn't make a lot of sense, I feel like Razor Leaf was actually the better move lately. So, that thing doesn't really change, I guess, except for the move speed slow. Yeah, I think just in general, Leafeon nerf into its stats would have been probably pretty good. Next up, we have Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime getting a buff, I assume. Power Swap is getting a buff. Move speed increase 2% and also healing 22% increase. Oh, I mean, am I gonna try out some Mr. Mime, I guess? Maybe it's the return of the Power Swap Mr. Mime with a 22% healing increase. That is quite a lot. Next up, the one that is currently ruining the day. Or ruining the patch, which is Tyranitar. Basic attack damage, barely a change. I mean, 30, 35 on level 15. I mean, that's actually 35 attack damage is half an attack rate, right? Late game. That's not bad, I guess. Sandtomb is getting a damage reduction by from 25 to 15%. Um, Stone Edge damage, 10% decrease. And also Unite move getting a 20% decrease. You know what? I would have liked them just to re-nerf the Sandtomb stun. I feel like... I feel like the Centum stun was just a bit too much, right? The two seconds or one and a half, one and a half they did now, um, the half second buff to it was just a tiny bit too much, I think. You know, getting rid of that would maybe be nice again. But otherwise, I guess, sure, you know, makes it a bit squishier. Less damage late game. Um, might make Tyranita more in line again, hopefully. Because that thing is still very annoying. We have Scissor Scyther getting a nerf. With the adjustments effect of Muscle Band, its effect now activates twice when Technician activates. Signaling regressing the damage there. To balance this, the cooldown of Sword Dance has been increased, reducing the frequency of Technician's activation. What? Is Scissor even doing well? They also nerfed Scissor at the same time. Wait, how is Scissor doing? I need to check. Ah, uh, this, this is... Uh, wait, what? I mean, Scyther probably is a nerf for, like, Japan or Asia, because they love Scyther and they played very well and a lot. But Scissor? One and a half second on Sword Hands nerf? That is actually crazy. Wow. I mean, Scissor wasn't even doing good right now. Scyther, maybe. Let me see. If you go to right here, we go to uh, Scissor Scyther. I mean, Scyther is doing definitely fine with this. You can see right here. 53% win rate with full heal. While Scissor is doing. I mean, it's doing also okay. 51%. I mean, I guess they're doing fine. Um, it's not that bad if you use the right, you know, the right bad item instead of the bad ones. Then I guess it actually does quite good. But still, one half second seems quite a lot. Maridon getting a nerf that is fully deserved, of course. Um, electro drift damage, 5% decrease, and damage when empowered, 10% decrease. I think that was to be expected. That had to be a thing, right? And now we have Blaziken. Oh, wait, we have Blaziken. They're buffing it because of the battle pass, right? Yeah, they're buffing Blaziken. <laughs> I knew this was maybe happening. I I was like, nah, Timmy's not gonna do it because Blaziken sees so much tournament play as well. 
So their reasoning for Scyther Scissor is a bit weird when Blaziken can also receive so much cinnamon play. Healing increase from 5 to 7% of max HP and healing under 50% also increase. So 2% more max healing on the passive. Focus Blast and Blaziken getting a cooldown reduction buff. Okay, this one is useless. Like this one literally does not matter a thing a bit. Because you always switch out anyways. After an entire rotation of moves, you switch into the next moves, right? So these, these buffs are useless. But a 2% more max HP here, sure. All right. This one makes no sense. Wait. Both focus by Blaze have been buffed to make it easier. I successfully chain consecutive attacks from your night move to each respective move. I swear Timmy doesn't play this game. Like, if you change your moves, they go on zero cooldown. So how does it not successfully chain? Or do you mean... The, whatever, this makes no sense. Just just ignore this. This, this might as well not have happened. It literally does not matter. Um, this one though, of course, and this one does seem quite nice. More healing, why not? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. They're buffing slow, bro. They're buffing slow, bro. They're buffing slow, bro. To enhance its ability to withstand more attacks as a defensive type, the recovery amount of effects have been more increased. They, they can't be serious. Slack off getting about surf cooled on one second. Nah. Nah, that is wild. And also Sky doing reducing attack from 40 to 60%. Timmy, what are you doing? Mimikyu, don't tell me they're also buffing Mimikyu. They're also buffing Mimikyu. Healing increase on Shadow Claw. Play rough movement speed decreased. I don't know what this means. Oh, a bigger slow. Play rough now slows more. Now it's also one second less cooldown. And play rough also down to seven seconds. I don't... They buffed, they buffed Mimikyu and Slow in the same patch. So I'm gonna get point and click Unite moved all day. Nice, I'm excited. Uh, Venusaur, Sludge Bomb damage on hit increased. 20% poison damage, 20% increased. Special defense decrease also. Okay, a huge Sludge Bomb buff. Definitely gonna try this out today. That is nice. Pursuit, damage from front increased. Oh, it, okay. And Psycho Cut blade damage 50% increase. I mean, Psycho Cut kind of like, you don't really use it for the, for the damage on the first part. You, of course, use it for the uh, marks you get afterwards, right? That is quite, quite weird. But first, you're getting a damage buff from in front is actually quite interesting. Makes it less, you know, of a gamble. We're going to see how that turns out. Guard Chomp! Um, reduction rate of re effects received from opponents, 20-25%. Earthquake damage increased by 15%. Dick damage increased by 10%. Dragon Rush 1 second, Dragon Rush plus also, or like Dragon Rush 1 second cooldown. Does the 1 second cooldown line up now with Guard Shop? I think so, right? So it just means that Dragon Rush 6 seconds and Shadow Claw 5 seconds. So they just have the same cooldown now. Which is nice. Like, that is good. Very good for Guard Shop. They have the exact same cooldown now. So they will always be up together, even easier. Even that kind of way already, but now it's even easier. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty big buff, actually, to Dragon Guard Chomp. And this one I'm going to try out later. Then we have Duraladon. Basic attack speed decreased. Additional damage decreased. Lash Cannon, when the move is used, attack speed increased by 1%, gradually returning to normal over 5 seconds. Oh, they're buffing Flash Cannon. When the moves used, attack speed is increased for the first part of it. That sounds actually interesting. Enhanced. Okay, so they're nerfing the basic speed because they're buffing Flash Cannon. So they're also buffing Drain Pull, slightly charged, increased. When fully charged, increased. Also, they're nerfing his basic attacks, but buffing his abilities. Okay, that's actually quite interesting. Stealth Rock when Shattered or Rock's hit opponents, the Sheet effect is great. You get a Sheet for Stealth Rock. And number fits before monetized. Oh my god. Okay, that actually sounds quite, quite good. Unite move now knocks back the opposing Pokemon at the end of the move. Damage from the beam 20%, 30% increase. Yeah, they actually kind of cooked with a Dwaladon. I'm going to try this out later, but it actually seems quite fine. Honestly, I would give this patch maybe a 5 out of 10. I mean, Slowbro Mimikyu buffs are kind of weird. I think the Dwaladon buffs look interesting. Garchon buffs, sure. Absol buff, sure. Um, some weird nerfs overall. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this patch. I'm gonna try it out. Make sure you join my stream on Chris Heroes Live on YouTube or Chris Heroes on Twitch, where we'll be trying out this patch. But of course, if you don't, I also will upload videos about all these things today. So I hope you guys enjoy. 
all those videos and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe